Why did you go like that? I waved. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought I was like, what? <laughs> okay, let's do it again. This week, Cassie is helping me out in the kitchen, and we've noticed that there's a real sense of community spirit developing around here. Everyone's looking out for each other. What we decided to do is make some pasties and share them with our elderly neighbour. He really doesn't cook very much, and you can pop these in the freezer for when he needs them. Now, we're going to keep it really simple because that's how he likes it. And I've started with some dry cure smoky bacon. I've just started sizzling it in a little bit of butter. And to that, I'm going to add some sliced leeks. And we're just going to cook these for a couple of minutes until they soften. Now the leeks are ready, I'm going to add them to some cold mashed potatoes. These are a little bit lumpy, but actually it doesn't matter because it will just add texture to the filling. Now you could put whatever you like into this. You could put in some frozen peas. Some else? green beans. Some green beans. We could spice it up and do a vegetarian version for you, Robert. Yes, please. Next, I'm going to add some cheese. I've got some double Gloucester here that I've just cut it into small cubes. Drop those in. So we've kept it really, really simple, but lots and lots of flavour. Cheese, leeks, bacon, they'll be lovely together. Yeah. We're using this, which is all butter puff pastry, and I've just taken it out of the freezer and thawed it. But you can get fresh pastry that's got no butter in, so it's suitable for vegans. There's two sheets in here, so let's take one each. And I'm going to cut them in half, so you've got two pretty well even-sized rectangles. Okay. It's a bit like doing maths, isn't it? I think this class is at homeschooling. We're going to put the filling in the top half okay. and then fold it forwards. And I think we need to make sure that we don't have any empty corners. You know when you take the first bite and there's nothing there? Oh, that's bad. That's bad, isn't it? So mm -hmm. make sure we sort of square it up. Okay. We need to leave a border so we can stick the pasty together. Can you crack an egg into that bowl and beat it for Ooh, me? my favourite job. Good work. And then dip your brush into the egg and we're going to go all the way round. Just around the edges? Just around the edges. And you're going to fold it all the way over the top. So we're just going to lift it high and over. Okay. That's it. Now with your fork, we're just going to press the edges all the way round to seal it. Now I'm just going to carefully put them onto the tray. So we're going to give two to Cliff. You can have one, Fabio can have one, and then we'll make some spicy dairy-free ones for you later, Rob. Yes, please. All right. Last thing to do, brush a bit more egg over the top to make okay. it really nice and shiny. I like I think we should poke a hole in the top just to let any air escape. Okay. Now I'm going to bake these for about 20 minutes until they're really puffed and golden and then we'll leave them to cool. Here they come! Wow. They look really good, don't they? Yeah. They're a little bit too hot to eat now, so we'll leave them to cool a bit and then you can eat yours. Okay. And then we'll pack the other two up and take them to Cliff. Okay. Yeah. Am I vegan ones ready yet? Yes. 